when you're really good, it goes fast. <laughs> What's the character's name? Mary. Mary has an English accent. Do we have an age for Mary? No, I think it would be very... Di don't you think this sounds much different from the other one? Because the other one was up here and wasn't even English, really. And this girl would be more proper, better. Yeah, see there? This is why I get the big bucks. <laughs> okay. Mary Hermione, Mary Hermione Debenham, 32. I'm between permanent addresses at the moment. I'm afraid I have nothing to tell you. I went to bed and slept. Distressed? I've not really thought about it from that point of view. No, I cannot say that I am distressed at all, at all distressed. Distressed? I've not really thought about it from that point of view. No, I cannot say that I am at all distressed. After all, people die every day. Cold little bugger, isn't she? Right, she's very plain mm -hmm. and dowdy. All right, okay. smaller breaths, even still. See the similarities? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm afraid there is no more I can tell you. Kind of Who is she modelled on? How did you get that face? Well, it's not your face. What do you mean, how did we get that face? No, because she looks like she could be Russian. She's not Russian, I was talking about. Okay, so you're good? At least, yeah. Keep her in your head? In too much of a hurry to help a fellow traveller in need. In too much of a hurry to help a fellow at the <laughs> In too much of a hurry to help a fellow No, no, no. In too much of a hurry to help a fellow traveller in need. In too much of a hurry to help a fellow traveller in need. She never shuts up. Next line, Rowan. Yes, again. Oh yeah. Yeah, I like. That. I think that voice works great for him. Well, <clears throat> he changed a bit since now, but this is kind of his vibe. So I think we should start with him because after that we have uh, English. Yes. Should we start uh, with uh, Greek though? Yeah, sure. Yeah, because yeah, that'd be better. And just, just uh, for me, maybe just... from Greek to British to. Uh, American. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Which no famous character we're doing first? Constantine. So we'll do Constantine. You need to follow him, yeah. Oh, you're going to follow me, aren't you? All right, I'll play the game. The big thing in voiceover. you got to have your water and your mustard. But we'll talk about that later. It's all about the water. <sighs> yeah, okay. This is the chair where it all happens. This is where we make the magic. His name is Matteo, I believe. My name is Constantine. There has been a savage murder done in the Calais coach. Miss, the American in the room next to this one, Ratchet. You're in charge, I suppose. What do Greek accent we... What do Greek accent? Oh, that's Greek accent. You see? That's <laughs> just crazy. Yeah, Ratchet's the one who's murdered. <laughs> the American in the room next to this one. Ratchet. You're in charge, I suppose. What do we do now? Ah, if only we were in Greece. So uh, it'll be his, it's his character. So he plays the, the, uh, I guess the uh, right hand to this rich American uh -huh. uh, businessman who actually ends up getting murdered on the train. Okay. Um, he's a very loudmouth boss that you have. Okay. So you are his right hand. Great. Um, so we can go through it and then We'll direct you from in here. <clears throat> cool. He looks like I have a picture of him. Yeah, this is what he looked like before I made changes to him and stuff. But so that's him. Okay. What's his first name? Hector. Hector McQueen. Mm -hmm. 
So just an American 20s kind of voice. Great. It should be good. Cool. The train better get moving soon. The passes west of here fill with snow pretty fast. Back in 29, there was a train trapped up there for a week. Only people we've seen were an attendant and a passenger, I think. They boarded that coach they're adding to the train. Then somebody turned out the station lights. It's the Athens Paris coach, I think. Mr. Ratchet and I travel this route quite a bit. I think I just about promised you anything. Oh, darn it, there I go, sounding like Mr. Ratchet. You had enough of him, I expect, at the market in Istanbul. I didn't mean anything by it except, well, except it's the truth. I love your accent. A little bit of British, a little bit of French. A lot of heaven. Darn it, there I go again. I am Greta Olson, matron to a small missionary school near the port of Gamlik. I nurse and instruct the children who have, uh, have lost their way. Hello, miss. There is more snow coming, I think. Hello, miss. There is more snow coming, I think. Yeah, I have heard this. It is satisfactory with you?